Go ahead. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we're going to do a uh, combination unboxing of uh, Asus the F1 A75V Pro motherboard. Uh, this retails for $139.99. Um, it has the DigiPlus uh, VRM and it has a lot of really, really good features for price. Um, it supports the APU processors, the Fusion processors from AMD. And today we're going to unbox an AMD A8. Uh, this is the 3800, I believe. Um, I believe it is the 3800 uh, processor. And this one has, I believe this one has 400 stream processors with it. So roughly it's going to give you the power of like a 4670 or you know better but of course um it'll be using ram from the main system but let's take a look at what the uh board has in it though because this is one of the top offerings from um uh asus for the fusion processor um <clears throat> basically they're saying digi plus benefits of digi plus vrm is low radiation high system stability um they are also including a the TPU software, the Ultimate Turbo Processor uh, System Grade, uh, unleash the performance of Asus Simple Onboard Switch or AI Sweet Utility. Now this might be interesting because, um, uh, quite frankly, overclocking one of these APUs is very tricky because there is no more north bridge on the motherboard. Those functions have been actually include uh, put into the processor, so uh, you turn up one thing, everything else gets turned up and it's a little bit more tricky to keep these processors stable so uh, this motherboard uh, is worth it just for the fact that it should make a overclocking this processor a little bit easier um, but let's take a look at what it has in here it has it is the AMD A75 Hudson D3 chipset uh, it supports wow there's four DIMMs. It does support four, 64 gigs of DDR3 uh, at a max speed of 1866, uh, non-ECC. So two PCI Express slots uh, support Crossfire X, uh, first at 16 and the second one at 4X mode. It has two PCI Express uh, 2.01 slots and two PC, uh, three PCI slots, so legacy PCI slots. So let's take a look at what uh, they have in here. Pretty nice features with the board. Okay, <laughs> kind of everything upside down. Well, they give you two uh, SATA cables, and this is uh, the angle. And they have uh, their easy plug in switch, so if you never put the computer together, it's pretty much bulletproof. Uh, a pretty nice back shield IO plate with uh, thermal uh, padding and their user guide with the driver now you you do want to install off the driver disk but um, they should have uh, updated drivers on the website now for the built-in graphics so let's see it's a pretty it's, a, it's actually a, a hefty board so there's some weight to this board there's definitely some weight to the board um that's a really long heat pipe too. So, here we see the south bridge and we have two, four, six native SATA three uh, connectors here. So there is no SATA two connectors, but of course it's backwards compatible. Um, I don't know the, this might be a SATA, it is SATA three also, um, but this might be for an eSATA connector. Uh, I don't know why it's up by itself. You have a USB three header here for the front panel and the BIOS chip, you have the front panel connector, uh, you have one, two, three, four uh, USB uh, front panel connectors there, you have SPDIF, COM, you have your, ooh, let's see, the fan connectors up here, your four DIMMs up here, and you have switches here, TPU to turn on that, FPU to turn on that feature and the MIM OK. So MIM OK is a feature on a lot of top-end uh, ASUS boards. Basically, 
if you have memory that's not on their verified vendor list and it won't boot for whatever reason just press the memo key button and uh, onboard software will set things up so that it'll boot off the RAM. So that's what memo K is for. Um, wishing they would actually have included a power and reset and CMOS reset button on there since they've already uh, included these buttons up up here, but you know, can't have everything, I guess. But you see the uh, F1 socket and an A pin power CPU connector. Pretty good power regulation here, really fancy, like wavy heat sink. Probably cost them a lot of money to cut. <laughs> so you have the heat pipe going all the way down to the south bridge. And let's take a look at the back. You have your 7.1 audio. Uh, you don't have, you have your optical out. You have your, wow, this is very nice. You have an HDMI out and you have a native display port out. So it's, it's pretty nice. Um, you have USB 3.0, uh, combo PS2 connector, uh, DVI, VGA. This is a EC8 on top, USB 3 and USB 2 in your LAN. So um, this board was definitely designed to be flexible. Uh, if you have the money, it's definitely worth investing a couple more dollars just to get the board. Just like I said, if in case you really wanted to get that little bit of extra power from this processor. And we'll unbox this right now. Um, this is, the, oh, I'm sorry, before I said, oops, sorry. it is the A8 3850. 2.9 gigahertz, four megabyte total cache. And this has uh, the 6550D, I believe, uh, GPU on board. Um, it will, and here we go. So, 3850, I mean, it's a 3800 series, but it is the 3850, uh, the top offering from AMD. AMD. This is the uh, Lano APU. It's based off of the Phenom architecture uh, on a 32 nanometer die. So these are, these run pretty well actually. This is basically a Phenom processor with an onboard graphics card put together. Now, a combination of these uh, products here, made just about a year and a half ago, would have been well over $300. So, uh, especially for the motherboard itself, the quality of the motherboard definitely is very high. For what you're getting, uh, technology has definitely increased uh, and prices have gone down accordingly to it. Um, can't speak to the next generation of APU processors because those will be based on the AM, uh, the bulldozer architecture, which a lot of people have uh, reservations about. So this is the heatsink. Um, it's a fairly thick heatsink with their standard uh, CPU fan. Now, I had done an unboxing in a of a third of a AM or uh, AM. I'm sorry, of a uh, APU processor before. And that was the uh, the 3650. I can't, I can't recall. I put the processor right underneath this. And I and in that video, I said that the fan might be loud. Well, it's not that loud. Uh, the temperatures actually stay pretty cool. It's like, and uh, I was very much surprised that the the fan isn't as loud as a um, the 40 nanometer processor. So, and that's very impressive considering you have a graphics chip and you have your uh, processor fused together. So, um, any questions or comments, just place them at the bottom of the video. But, oh, let me make a last, uh, since this might be the last time that we're going to unbox um, uh, this particular generation of uh, AMD pro uh, APU processors. Now, a lot of you out there, especially the enthusiasts, might wonder why uh, this is even, you know, why even bother? Well, if you think about it, um, before you would have had to, and I'm going to grab the box, you would have had to grab, um, have a, and uh, you would have had to have a Phenom 2, and a separate, maybe a Radeon 4670 or 4650 okay now both of these combined 
take a lot of power. So you would have had to upgrade your power supply to like maybe a 500, 550, you know. So you in terms of power consumption, uh, power, and now you have all of that condensed into this, both of these. That's a considerable power savings and, you know, and you still get the performance because you don't get the dedicated performance of the RAM. However, uh, you do get a DirectX capable uh, graphics chip that runs things fairly well. So, and the benefit, uh, an additional benefit is that you can crossfire a, uh, uh, let's see, on the here, they say a 6670, 6570, or 6450 with the uh, GPU in the uh, graphics card and the uh, APU. Or you can go full out and put in a, a dedicated full graphics card, you know, into the PCI Express lab. So, you have a lot of options here, but this is where technology will be leading us into the future. Um, all the better, honestly. You know, the more power savings and performance we get in a more condensed platform is, you know, all the better for everybody. So, uh, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, just place them at the bottom of the video.